This is a cheap RTL2832 based SDR dongle. It receives VHF UHF signals but not HF. That's unlike some others that do claim to receive HF with a direct sampling mode. How do you get this to receive medium and HF signals? Keep watching and I'll tell you how. Note that you do need to be prepared to open this up and do some fine soldering. So make sure that you do your experiments with one of these that you can afford to lose because it is very fine inside. I'm going to assume that you're using the AirSpy SDR Sharp software. And I'll also assume you've had a bit of experience using it in tuning VHF and UHF signals. Before we do anything with the hardware, we need to make sure the SDR Sharp software is set up right. So go to the settings, which is this little cog wheel. When you're using this for VHF and UHF reception, you'll be in quadrature sampling. But for our experiment, we need to go to direct sampling. I'll just select Q and then close. Then you want to change the frequency to a known strong AM broadcast station. Let's say 1377. An AM station is good because it's a strong local signal and even if you've got a limited antenna you should hear something from it. Make sure that it's set in AM mode and press play. Now we haven't got things set up yet so we're not hearing a signal, that's fine. Now we need to think about an antenna connection. This is my HF antenna, I've got a wire connecting just to the center of the coax and on the other end of that lead is just a bit of tin copper wire. Very fine but it's just what I've cut off from a resistor in some other project. Because we don't know what we're doing, we're probing around the board and seeing if we can hear a signal with this tapped at various locations on it. Well, this is the RTL2832 opened up. It's actually very easy to open up. You might find there is a label that you need to peel off, but Apart from that, just run either your fingernail or screwdriver carefully around the edge and we have the board. Next thing we do is we probe around with this wire until we find a signal. Now just to prove that this doesn't work in direct sampling mode as is, we're just probing on the antenna and no evidence of signal. We'll assume we don't know anything about this and we'll keep probing various connections until you hear something. No joy so far. Before we continue our aimless probing, fun that it is, we have to understand a little bit about what's inside. As you can see, there's two ICs and a crystal that provides a reference frequency. That looks like a voltage regulator. Here's the RF input, and here's the data output to the computer. Just having a look online at block diagrams, You've basically got the antenna, tuner, mixer, IF filter. This is all in the tuner section, so it's all the VHF, UHF stuff. And here is the demodulator. So we actually want to feed it directly into this bit. The diagram is possibly a bit hard to read, but there it says sample rate 28.8 megahertz. ADC there. 
Um, there's more information on the web if you want to learn more about how these things work. But anyway, we'll just assume that we need to put the signal directly from the antenna into somewhere near the second IC, not the first one that we were unsuccessfully probing around. Okay, probing around, we're near the centre of the board. Just off the screen there is the crystal. Anyway, we'll keep probing. Well, there's a weak signal there. Now that's very strong. Well, we've got success. We're now using the direct sample mode to receive an AM station. This one's only about 15, 20 kilometers away, so we'll try a station that I know is a lower signal and we'll see if we can still receive that. And bearing in mind, this is very crude. I'm using just an HF antenna outside. No pre-selection or tuned circuits. Just keep probing around just in case there are any other spots. Well, it's pretty clear these two spots here definitely give the best reception. Now, there's a lot of lines there, and some of them remain um, even when there's no RF input so yeah this is prob probably isn't going to be ideal but anyway we'll try another frequency let's say actually there is a long wave beacon on 398 let's see if we can hear that yep we can a lot of interference and there's lots of stuff on the screen that shouldn't be there. But you could hear MB, which is the local airport. Now we'll try another AM broadcast signal. There's one on, we'll try 531. That's a country one, maybe 100 kilometers from here. Let's try tuning, there won't be much around here. Let us try a 40 meter amateur band. Now we have a better antenna connection. I'm connecting both the center and outer pins and this is receiving a 7 megahertz amateur signal.
Well, that doesn't sound like CV. I think it's probably some image. In fact, I'm just thinking, you know that 28.8 megahertz crystal um, I mentioned? Well, 28.8 minus 27.375 gives us somewhere in the AM broadcast band. So I reckon that's what it is. Let's see if we can find some familiar stations. Uh, 28.8 minus 800 kilohertz is 28. Oh, that's 3XY, that's 1422. Um, so uh, 28.8 minus 1422. Yeah, I think that's pretty close to this frequency. Um, Now, there's station on 1377, which is, I don't know, 40 or 50 kilohertz away, so we'll go nearer to 28.8. And, yep, that sounds like it. So, yep. So, up here, it's all images and stuff from the AM broadcast band. Looking at the RTL SDR instructions, and it also mentions issues with image reception. And the recommendation is to use bandpass, low pass, or high pass filters depending on the frequencies of interest. If you want to get the most out of this, you have to think how to couple RF into the dongle. Apparently, it's quite high impedance, several thousand ohms. Therefore, if you just connect 50 ohm antenna straight to it, then you'll get a bit of loss. There's actually two inputs of this, the I and the Q, and one of them is just connected to ground via one nanofarad and another one nanofarad goes to the antenna connection. Now this is fairly crude, you could do other arrangements like using impedance matching transformers, but they have a bit of bulk and you might be able to get better results if you have say an RF preamp instead, which can also convert impedances. But if you do have an RF preamp, then it's a good idea to have some selectivity at the front end. Otherwise, you'll get even more interference from broadcast stations and other strong signals. Anyway, that's for a future video. For now, if you want to make this up as an HF thing, then just go with these two capacitors. And if you wanted to make it permanent, if you didn't need the VHF UHF facility then you could just use the Belling Lee socket in here as the HF socket if you cut the connection right where I'm pointing. As it stands this very crude setup is not a great HF receiver but there's a lot of things that can be done to improve it like improving the coupling would be a start maybe some RF selectivity, possibly some amplification, RF gain control, all these sorts of things. You could build a little pre-selector and probably be hearing HF. But the main thing is that we have had success in getting this RTL2832 to receive lower frequencies, like the medium wave broadcast band. So if you've got a spare one of these, even if you're willing to sacrifice it in the name of science, then open it up, have a probe around, try the direct sampling mode, that's either I or Q in the software, and you too may be able to hear lower frequency signals with your RTL2832.